everyone, it's Talia Rose. Thank you so much for watching. Today I have a very special treat for you. I have my good friend Erin Calderoni who agreed to come today and show us some amazing ab workouts that's going to help shed that post-pregnancy belly fat and also help tighten those muscles that for nine months have just been abused and stretched and loosened. So she's going to help snap us back into shape. Erin, um, what do you have for us? Well, we have a lot of core exercises, which I think are a little bit falsely named because when we think of the core, we think, oh, it's just your abdominals, when in fact there's so many more muscles that are responsible for keeping you upright and, and giving you good posture. So I think it's important to address all of those muscles together. Awesome! And Erin has been a personal trainer now for seven years, and she also helps run a studio here in town. What's the name of it again? It's called Kinetic Spark Fitness, and right now my mother, who actually got me into the fitness industry and, and helped inspire me to become a personal trainer, she's running it, and she does a great job. She's had five kids, so I think she knows about <laughs> abs. <laughs> and what's neat, um, her studio is absolutely beautiful, and I was actually tempted to film the vi video there today. However, um, we're going to go and just do it in my living room and we're not going to have any extra special equipment because this is an exercise you can do anytime anywhere and you can literally just drop down and do it and you know that after having a baby you do need to do it everywhere and anywhere you can and just fit it in we actually had a hard time getting my son to sleep we've had several interruptions but you just have to push through and keep going um erin also teaches a kinesiology at cal state northridge and calu so she really knows what she's talking about and i'm really glad that she's here today so let's go ahead and get to it. All right, let's get started. All right, so the first core exercise we're gonna do is actually the simplest one to do. It's called the bird dog. Um, and it's really good for knowing that you're actually activating those core muscles and you're not cheating, okay? So go ahead and get down on all fours. You want your hands to be underneath your shoulders right here and your knees should be underneath your hips. And in order to get that core set up, what I want you to do is go ahead and arch your back up and then go ahead and go the other direction and find that nice neutral spine right in between. You should have a little dip right here in the lower back, okay? And I like how you're keeping your head and neck aligned. That's really good. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to have you extend your right leg all the way out, and then you're going to extend your opposite shoulder arm all the way out. So see how she's keeping her back nice and flat right here? We want to maintain that flat back with just a little dip right here in her lower back throughout the entire exercise. So from here, you're going to bring your arm and your elbow back down towards the floor, not changing that posture, there you go, and then extend again. Good. Now let's go ahead and do that 10 times. So that's one, two, three, three. And we're going to keep it nice and slow, trying not to lift that hip up. Great. Five, six, seven, When I try to hold it still, I do feel it a lot more. Because I normally go like this, right? <laughs> and move my whole body. Uh, so this actually is getting it's a lot harder to do. But. Right, it's harder than it looks because she's actually activating her core musculature. Good, okay, so the left side. Good. So see how your left hip is lifting a little bit? I want you to drop that down and then lift your right arm a little bit more. And then just brace up those abs almost as if I was going to punch you in the stomach. I promise I won't. <laughs> Good. Let's do four more. Nice and slow. Four, three, two, and last one. Very nice job. Okay, so here's a tip. If you can't hold that position, put a water bottle or a TV remote right in your lower back, and if it falls off of your back, you know you're not activating your core enough in order to keep it up there. So that's a good little life hack you have. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do the standard plank, but I'm gonna give you a little twist. Not literally, figuratively on it. So make sure you're still looking at the floor. This is a great plank. I like how you're keeping that neutral spine. So from here, you're just going to um, slowly move yourself forward and then back. And we're gonna do this 10 times. Good. Two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Nice job. Keep that nice position. I love her planks. They're great. Now, from here, you're going to move side to side and not twist the hips. Perfect. We'll do ten of these. You're just transferring weight from one elbow to the other. A lot of people will start twisting their hips while they're doing this exercise, but it's more about stability here. 
and I feel it too. I'm shaking. I don't know if you can tell, but this is good. You put on a good face. <laughs> Two more. Nine and ten. Nice job. Okay, you can take a little break here. The next one we're going to do is that same plank, but now I'm going to go in little circles. It's a very small movement. You go clockwise and then counterclockwise. Good. And don't let those hips dip. That's one. It's tempting to have them dip. Very tempting. <laughs> That's two. Good. Three. Then you're doing a weird dance. Right. This is going <laughs> to make those abs really strong. Whatever you're moving, this is going to help them to be tight and stabilizing your spine. It can really help with that low back pain, herniated discs. A lot of those things that we get as we get older is, is due to the fact that we don't have a strong core. Okay, let's do four more. Ooh, it burns. You got it. Keep those hips nice and straight. Good. And let's do one more tally right here. Make it work. Nice job and relax. Good job. Okay. So now that we've gotten those core muscles, we're actually going to flip you onto your side and get the obliques. This is still working the core, but it's going to help give you that nice tight little waist that we want to have after we've had a baby. So I want you in a nice straight line from your shoulder to your hip. Awesome. And then you're just going to post up on that elbow. Great. You want to keep your chest nice and open here and then your hips up in a straight line. So now from here, I just want you to drop your left hip down to the floor and then push it straight back up. And we're going to do 10. Good. So you're pushing up through here in your oblique. Awesome. And then keep that chest nice and open. Great. Let's do three more. I'm hungry. Let's <laughs> Three, two, and one. Nice job. Okay, flip over on the other side. Awesome. Okay, nice straight line. Looks good. Touch the hip down and then bring it up. One. Two. It's weird. I feel much stronger on this side, and I think that's just from holding a baby all day on this side. Yeah, probably. So, <laughs> the other side's weaker, but this one's much stronger. Yeah. Keep that chest open. Great job. Okay, go back to the first side. I'll show you another one. You bring up a good point though, because a lot of people will carry their baby on one side, and so one side gets really strong, but then you ignore the other side. And this can cause what we call muscle imbalances, where one side is stronger than the other. So you want to make sure that you always work out both sides evenly. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and get in, up into that uh, side plank position, and then you're going to take this arm, reach underneath. Wrap around yourself and then go all the way straight up to the ceiling. Perfect. We're doing 10 of those. Try to keep those hips up. Don't let them draw towards the floor. There's like gravity's working against me. They want to go to the floor. <laughs> well, that's the purpose of the exercise, right? Working against Working against gravity all the time. Great. There we go. Four more. Nice position. Three. Two. And last one. Great job. Let's do that on the other side. It's like a shoulder workout too. Yeah, it does get your shoulder a little bit, and um, what you can do to help that shoulder from getting sore is just really squeeze in the middle of your back and help set that shoulder right into the socket. Your shoulders need to be strong too when you are carrying a baby all day. <laughs> Good job. Nice, you got two more Italian right here. And the last one. Beautiful. So where are you feeling that? Oh, I'm feeling it right here. Perfect. That's yeah. what we want. That's awesome. Give me waves. Here it comes. All right. So now I'm going to have you lay on your back. Um, we're going to do a, a different version of crunches because I don't really like standard crunches. Um, so what we're going to do is actually get the most bang for our buck here. So I want you to go ahead and hug your knees and bring your shoulders and neck up off the floor. But do that using your abs. So I don't want your neck to be involved here. So you're going to put your hands behind your head right there. Go ahead and extend the feet all the way up and then lower them towards the floor only so far as you can keep that nice natural curve in the back. You want to maintain that. Okay, now slowly bring one knee and one elbow together and then back and then other side. That's one repetition. So much harder slow. <laughs> I'm normally going like this. Right. But it's much harder slower. <laughs> right. Well, when you go really fast, what can happen is you start using your hip flexors and your neck and shoulders to do the activity rather than your abs because your abs are kind of wimpy muscles they don't want to be used so they're going to pass the buck off to another <laughs> muscle to do their job but we're going to trick them into actually working. Oh, that 
Yeah, I think we're at five here, right? This is six. Nice. Get seven. start feeling it burn right about now. <laughs> and then do two more. <laughs> nice job. Great. And that's it. Go ahead and relax. Okay, now let's finish up with Talia's abs. She actually kind of invented this exercise herself, which is great. And then I'm going to teach you a way to do that safely and keep that lower back really healthy. So go ahead and put your hands underneath your lower back. What this does is it maintains that natural lordotic curve, that natural little arch in your back. And then you can go ahead and bring your knees up, and this is going to get your abs and your oblique. So show them how you do it. So I twist and try to not, you don't have to touch the ground with the outside of your knee, but at least try to do it. Good. And then one of the ways that you can actually adapt this if you get low back pain is go ahead and keep your hips right there on the floor and hands under your back and just drop the knees. Mm -hmm. A little less of a drastic movement, but you're still going to get that trunk twist and stretch and totally. And you're still going to be burns. <laughs> working those abs, working those obliques. All right. And so you really want to get into it. You don't have any lower back pain in you. You can feel the movement, you can just cross your legs and kind of just go to town. Yeah. <laughs> That's the Talia twist, is what I call it. Talia trunk twist. Awesome. Or, just All right. I feel it. I totally feel it. <laughs> That's it. And all you have to do is uh, start with one uh, set of 10 repetitions of each exercise. And then as you get stronger, you can actually do that again and go two or three rounds uh, of 10 repetitions of each exercise. And you'll really start seeing results at that point. Yeah, and obviously you'll want to incorporate other exercises and cardio because you're going to want to shed the fat so your abs can come out and say hello to the world again. Oh, yes. But this is going to be a huge head start in getting you there and even just helping you feel more stable because I know those of you that have had a baby, you feel like you can't even pick up a bag of groceries for a while. So this is going to help get you back into that shape. And as summer approaches, um, perhaps going bathing suit shopping won't be as oh, yes. painful. So, <laughs> thank you so, so much, much for fun. watching. Thanks, All guys. Right. Bye. Bye.